Hi guys, I attended an event last night and it was fantastic. Um, it was the James Lindsay event here in Calgary. Um, but afterwards I had a very interesting thing happen and it's made me reflect a little bit on sort of where things currently at in the world and just how strongly uh, fear and um, uncertainty can leave people. Um, I, after the event, I walked across um, between me and my car, little place where I could grab a coffee and something to eat, and I'm kind of thankful I did. But when I went in there, um, I was a very distressed young man, and I mean very distressed, very agitated, pacing, hands in his pocket, looking around, very uncomfortable, which made me very uncomfortable. And it's very late, it's dark, um, I still have to go to my car, which is quite a ways away um, in a big parking lot and of course typical Nadine fashion first to arrive last to leave and I was getting very uncomfortable this young man really got to the counter after pacing 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 waiting um, didn't order anything he's kind of looking back at me quite a bit and then I get to the counter I order he walks away just waits to the side um, I place my order and I get my drink and then I have to step back and wait for my food and then he comes back around just you know makes conversation with the, the staff and um, again very agitated you know he's very agitated about having to wait um, ask for some like them to just make change or something like that anyway I was feeling very uncomfortable and from there um, he turns around and says this is you're not done and I'm like no no I'm just waiting for my food thank you he turns back again um, and then goes outside and I'm waiting for my food finally my food comes and just as my food arrives I'm thinking all I'm I'm gonna go ask somebody behind me here uh, to come walk me to my car I have never asked anybody in my life to walk me to my car um, nor have I ever felt kind of this kind of intuitively uncomfortable um, but the agitation this young man had just had me very unsettled and so I'm I, I decided I was gonna ask me to my car oddly enough one of the gentlemen who uh, had been attending the event walked in just as I had my food handed to me and we started talking and I was just sharing a little bit of my concern and he offered he said, he says, you, you're, you're uncomfortable. He says, let me walk you to your car. And this young man, he knows who he is. Thank you so very much. Because I truly, for the first time in my life, was very uncomfortable and pondering as to what to do. And I knew what I, I needed to do. I, there was no way I should leave that uh, facility by myself to walk myself to my car. And he just removed that situation for me escorted me to my car and um, I just want to say a huge thank you but ladies I also um, and and men it doesn't matter if you're in a situation like that where you are uncomfortable especially with somebody who is displaying truly agitated characteristics like that he was walking outside um, this facility almost as if waiting for me to come out and that was acknowledged even by the young man that I was that had offered to walk me home or walk me to my car um, don't just assume that everything is okay you know ask someone team up with somebody make arrangements but do not put yourself in an awkward or uncomfortable situation or potentially I think an unsafe situation so I just wanted to share that today because um, I think it's the first time it's ever happened to me in 51 years and um, I'm not the type of person to kind of get shaken by stuff like that but last night there was something just not quite right and um, you know what don't put yourself in that circumstance or in that situation there are people who are willing to help and to the young man who helped me last night again, you know who you are. Thank you so very much. God bless.